is a once again guys in today's video we came to some special place in Jamestown Accra Ghana and I hope that you will like the video share and comment and please don't forget to subscribe in Ghana using Chotro The Chalewote Street Art Festival is a platform that brings art, music, dance and performance out into the streets. This, the Fort James is located in Accra, Ghana, and it was built by the Royal African Company of England as a trading post for both gold and slaves. Can you tell me a little bit about this art? Okay, so the main focus of these uh, type of art is the glow of the African skin. Yeah, wow. Yes. So um, I just want to focus more on the detail of the, of the African skin rather than the hair. Yeah. So the hair is already there. I don't want to show more details on the hair. And then how it normally stands out when you um, add a pigment or maybe a color to it, to the background. So the yellow actually makes it pop out. Yes, for the public to see or for anyone else to see it more. And as you can see, if you add any other color to it, even your, your, your skin as a white, I mean, as a black person, it makes it pop out. So I decided to uh, put in a touch of white to make it stand out a little bit more. Wow, that's so interesting. 
This place was built in 1673 by the British people. They stayed from 1673 to 1957. In 2008, this place was used as a prison for the Ghanaian society. Is 
all about new generation. As you can see the gloves that they are wearing. about the nature and the peace that you can you can get from it. At first, this fort were used as colonial economical establishment. It means that they were used by European empires to increase their commercial exchanges. It's a sad story and it's also a story that shows a little bit about the strength of the African nation. Africans we are strong by nature and we thank God today. We are free and we have the opportunity to have freedom. They were using this place to store the slaves. In bad condition, horrible conditions, they were sleeping in the floor. Ibrahim, how do you feel and the environment at this place knowing that was a slavery place how do you feel about that yeah man thanks for asking me that question honestly when i got in here i was, I was really sad man come on realize that you know, people were in here and people were really suffering you know though the arts the beautiful art but there were real things in there here yeah, man and it was not really easy Staying in here, yeah, being kept quiet in you know, all the bad places, being locked. We can only be tired, man. It, it was so sad. When I got in, I was really depressed. I was really depressed seeing slavery stuff here, and it wasn't easy. It was not easy, man. So the story goes that 
a sage came to his father, who was a great military prince, and the sage said, your son is either going to be a great military king, or he's going to be a spiritual teacher. And so the father didn't want his son to become a spiritual teacher, so he kept him inside the palace, inside the compound, for like most of his life, and he gave him all the pleasure could have so that his son would never want to leave. Because he thought this is how he could stop his son from being a But then his son finally went outside and as the story goes, he saw three things. He saw an old man, he saw a sick man, he saw a dead body. And he said, is this what happens to everybody? Is this, is this what reality is? And the chariot guy said, you yeah, know, this is it. So he committed himself to trying to stop, trying to help stop that kind of suffering in life. And so, to make a long story, to make a short, profound story really short, he attained enlightenment, which meant that he attained an understanding of all of reality. And he realized that life, in order to be happy, you have to live a balanced life. And you have to live a life where you serve other people. And I think that that is something that, you know, many Ghanaians, they don't know about. And so I wanted to share that. Thank you for your time. And um, the art is really beautiful. Thank you very much. What's your name? My name is Biko. Pleasure to meet you, Fatima. The place is very, very interesting and very big. And I will show you more. Guys, I don't really understand what's going on in that car there. If they are looking for Caspers, the old people living here, but it sounds very bad.
at the slave center. I hope that you like the video. Share and comment and thank you for watching. Bye.